there you go. I got your Hellfire Mocha right there for you. Awesome. Great. Have a Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Uh, no. If I say Merry Christmas to you, then you should say it back to me. Happy Hanukkah. Seriously, dude, what else do I have to do here? It just seems rude, is all. If you know that I'm a Christian... They are not the one being rude here, and your religion is not the center of the universe. Now, I've already cursed three other War on Christmas people this week with silence until New Year's. Shall I make that four? No, ma'am. Thanks. Uh, sun's gone down about an hour. I gotta dip if I want to be a good little Jew. Of course. We'll see you next week. Oh, wait, Raythu, before you go, here, I got you a present. Well, technically I got your sister a present, but... Well, I thought you weren't allowed to celebrate non-Muslim holidays. Technically, no, but we do celebrate happy, healthy births. It's a fireproof baby blanket for your sister, as well as a $50 gift card to my favorite scarf shop. They do specialize in hijabs and more traditional Muslim wear, but they have a few traditional Jewish items as well. There's also a candle in there. I'm sure you already have enough of the tall, skinny ones for your... What's the name of it? Is that eight candle holder thing that you use for the holiday a mandala? A mandala is a geometric configuration of symbols mostly seen on the Indian subcontinent. You're thinking of a menorah. What, you've never seen a Hanukkah mandala before? Thank you, Bob. Anyway, it's not for that. It's a thick homemade scented candle that a friend of mine made and, you know, tis the season. <laughs> Thanks. I'll see you all next week. Happy Hanukkah. Oh, you look stressed. Got some holiday jitters? Huh? No, uh, finals are coming up. Your college finals? Your college finals on bacon and pastries? The bacon and pastries that you've been successfully making and selling for almost a year now? That's different. The finals last for four and a half days. Day one is dedicated to a written exam, which I am not great with since it's going to be essay heavy, and setting up the theme for my showcase. I have to come up with a theme and then stick to it. Theme for what? For the desserts that I have to make over the next three and a half days. They're requiring a petit four, a chocolate tish, a Vienna soiree, and a tart. Jesus, after one semester? Part-time? Yeah, and that's not the worst. The worst of it is that it's going to be judged and graded by not only my professor, but two other local professional pastry chefs. And they're not going to be using Bob's metrics of, do people like it, and can I sell it? No, they're going to be judging and grading it on every single level. On construction, presentation, texture, taste. Well, I mean... If you're that worried, you are dating a witch and are friends with a fairy sorceress. No. No. I... Fail or succeed, I want to do it on my metric. If I get a blessing from Bob or a charm from Nicole, yeah, I'll pass. I know that. But I will be haunted by the idea that I could only do it with their magic. All right? This is something I got to do myself. All right. I tried. Maybe boss can give you a couple of days off to better prepare? During the holiday crunch? Are you kidding me? Excuse me. Could not help it over here. With Rathu spending Hanukkah with their family, that is just not something I can do. Jennifer Charles. After they come back, however, then yes. Huznia and Drek can take over the baking duties while you focus on your studies. Well, hold on. Drek's in high school. He also has finals. True. However, I already have all those dates marked in the calendar. Drek's finals are a week after yours, and if he decides that he needs the extra time, then Eric will make a decent assistant to Huznia. I swear if he fucks up my recipe. Hey, babe! Hi, guys. I'm gonna need a hot chocolate, and if you have it, either a weighted blanket or JC. Whoo, I am no longer the most stressed person in the room, am I? Jennifer Charles is due for a break soon. What's going on? The academy I work for is hiring a new math teacher due to the old one indulging her alcoholism during school hours. Okay, there is definitely some tea in that story, but we'll ask for that later. Does that mean you're subbing or something? No, I am not qualified to teach math. We have a sub, we're currently interviewing for a permanent replacement, and I ran into one of the interviewees in the hallway, Stacy. And what did Stacy do? What? Did you steal that from my back pocket? She's someone I knew in grade school, specifically middle school and high school. This was not a friendly relationship, I assume. She was a cruel bully and made all seven years absolute hell with ableism and racism. Now she's looking to be a teacher. You know, if I time it right, the police won't figure out it's me until after my finals. No crimes or stabbing. Yeah, get your own murder weapon. Preferably one that doesn't have my prints all over it. 
We close in about half an hour, but there are no customers, and we've already cleaned up almost everything. You can stay until doors lock. Okay. Thank you. Did you need JC? No, Cyrus just finished wiping down the kitchen. Really, the only things we have left to do is sweep and mop the floor. And the registers. Good, because I am doing the very important job of weighted blanket for my girlfriend. And I gotta admit, Bob, you gotta step up your game. This position doesn't require nearly as much time on my feet, and while it's unpaid, there are excellent benefits from my employer. <laughs> Nicole, I think you should tell your principal about your history with this potential new teacher. If merely bumping into her in the hallway caused this reaction, she caught me off guard. She do anything to you? No, she just said hi. Perhaps she didn't recognize you? No, she did. Call my name first. Hmm. Many times people who cause pain to others don't realize just how much damage they're doing. Or they purposefully don't think about it out of guilt. Perhaps she never saw herself as a bully. Bullshit. That doesn't matter. She should at least apologize. I agree. But that may be difficult. Facing your own flaws, especially if they cause pain to others, is one of the most challenging things you can do. I can make her face it. That is more likely to get Nicole fired than this former bully denied her job. That's the other thing. She probably does know exactly what she did and how much of a nightmare she was as a kid. But because she wants this teaching job, she's playing nice. People do change, often for the better. You and I both know that quite well. Mm. Bob's right. Buddhism teaches that there's good and evil in everyone, and that every minute of every day is a conscious decision for one or the other. Redemption is possible, and I haven't seen Stacy in over ten years. It's very possible that she's trying to be a better person, and I'm not going to get in the way of that. But what if she's not? Then you have to deal with her every day, and so will her students. I had a couple of teachers who were total dicks to adults and kids. I bet they were high school bullies back in the day, too. That's why I'm going to meet up with her outside of school. Just her and me, and we're going to talk. It's best to confront potential problems head-on rather than let them fester, no matter how much we may want to avoid them. Is that another Buddhist thing? It is, yes. A wise decision. Did you want to confront her here? I think JC might scare her off. What? You're adorable, but some people think that you're scary for some reason. Even my mom says that you can be intimidating sometimes, which she says is a good thing because it scares all the jerks away from me. Exactly. That is my job as significant other, so I should be present in case Stacy turns out to be a jerk. No, I need to do this on my own. Thank you, though. Fine. At least take one of Cyrus's knives. A little flesh wound will scare her off if she tries anything. No stabbing! And it's not nearly as good as Bob's. Hi, Stacy. Nicole! Hi! Oh, it is so good to see you again. <laughs> You're still wearing baggy hobo clothes, I see. It's a men's flannel jacket. Very comfortable. Well, it does look cozy. I was surprised to get your Facebook message. We haven't seen each other since high school. I mean, what have you been up to? You're a teacher now? I teach the art class at the academy. Part-time, only sixth graders. I also sell art as a freelancer. And I'm a witch. Seriously? Can you cast a spell to get me this job? I just moved back here from California, and the jobscape is actually worse than the winters. I was surprised you went into education. You didn't strike me as... Studious. Yeah, honestly, I thought that I'd go into nursing at first, but pre-med was a nightmare. I ended up taking a tutoring job, and I just loved it. You know, it's one of those things where you just stumble upon a passion, and then you wonder how you lived your life without it. Hmm. I didn't ask you here to talk about your job application. I wanted to ask about our time as students. Oh, that was fun. Well, not English class. I always fell asleep. You were a bully. I what? Nicole, why are you letting rats live in your hair? Oh, wait, it's just like that. Nicole, I'm going to tell the teacher every time you stim or fidget, even though I know it's a healthy autistic trait, and then make fun of you when you get in trouble. Nicole, I'm going to call you fat and spread rumors that you're pregnant to the point of getting to the school nurse and counselors involved. And that was just sixth grade. You got worse. Well? Well what? Normally, when people are told they've done something wrong, they apologize. 
Oh, please, Nicole, we were kids. Kids do dumb things all the time. That doesn't make it right or excusable. You made my life miserable. Everybody's miserable in middle school and high school. What with puberty and way too much homework and the popularity contests? I wasn't a bully, okay? I never hit you. Emotional and psychological damage is still damage. I thought you were an art teacher, not a therapist. I wasn't a bully. You are just overly sensitive. You always were. Always making a big deal about nothing. Get over yourself. You really don't see bullying as a problem, do you? It was not bullying. Some kids are just jerks and others don't know how to stand up for themselves. Honestly, it's a good thing. They've got to learn it sometime, right? Did you? Did you ever say, have someone pour paint all over your project in art class, ruining two weeks of work, and thus learn to stand up for yourself? Oh, for crying out loud, that was just a prank. The teacher waived your grade, so you passed anyway, if memory serves. Not the point. Just as miserable and sensitive as before, I see. And stop that finger tapping thing. It is so annoying. <sighs> That's disappointing. Steve, can I talk to you for a few minutes? It's about the potential new hires. Hey, of course. Hey, did you use one of your magic spells to see into the future? I could really use the divine intervention. We've got three very good candidates, and I am this close to just tossing a coin. Well, I can do some divination if you want, but that's not why I'm here. I know one of the potential hires personally. Stacy, we went to school together. Yeah, what was she like? Awful. She was a bully, the type that's good at manipulating the faculty into letting her cruelty slide. I wouldn't necessarily care about that, even if I personally don't like her, because it was over a decade ago. The problem is, I met up with her yesterday to talk about it. And how did she react? She took no responsibility for her actions or the trauma she caused, and in fact blamed me for being a target. Very much a kids will be kids attitude. Again, I wouldn't necessarily care as the math department is on the other side of the school from the arts and I can easily avoid it, but I'm concerned about how she'll treat the students in her classroom. You think she'd mistreat them? I think that at best, she would turn a blind eye to any and all bullying and abuse going on in her classroom. At worst, she would be the bully. I see. Well, thank you for your honesty, Nicole. We'll remove her from the pool of potential hires. Thank you. And if you want to do a little witchcraft to make sure she doesn't cause problems for any other schools, I won't say anything. Already did. So your school will not hire your former bully as a math teacher? No. The principal takes those concerns very seriously, and I've worked there long enough that he trusts my judgment. Uh, what school is this? And can I transfer? My principal's an idiot and lets all sorts of BS slide. It's the academy across town by the golf courses. Oh, the rich people's school. Never mind. Sorry, classism is a real problem and they're stingy with scholarships. Can't have it all, I see. I'll admit I am slightly concerned about what Stacy will do when she does eventually get a job. I know her full name, so I was able to do a binding spell. Binding spell? Like in that old movie, The Craft? It is not... The craft is not that old. It came out before I was born, so yeah, in terms of movies, it kind of is. Before you were born? No, it came out in... Oh god, it is old. It only gets worse from here, Nicole. But anyway, binding spell? Yes, she won't be able to cause any physical, emotional, or psychological harm to anyone outside of self-defense. Hopefully that'll translate to her realizing her flaws and working on herself, but I think I just condemned her to not ever getting a teaching job ever again. Oh no, what a nightmare. I agree, you certainly could have done much worse and still have it be within the bounds of justice. Hmm. Where's JC? I gave them the day off. Their finals are fast approaching and it's causing some tension. Tension? They threw out an entire tray of brownies because there were a couple of air bubbles. I thought Cyrus was going to have a stroke. I guess we're not having a movie night for a while. Probably not, no. Wow. I might actually get all of my homework done before I even go home. It's so quiet. Shh. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. What? What? Don't you dare say that word, you little prick. What word? I didn't swear. You'll summon them. Summon who? Hi, I need 
this siren song tea hot with a dash of soy milk? Could I get three muffins, please? A chocolate chip, a lemon poppy seed, and a blueberry. Hey, what's the Wi-Fi password? I need to research a paper. Hey, I need six copies in one of those cardboard drink holder things. Actually, instead of a siren song, could we just get a chai, still with soy milk? Uh, what type of scones do you have? I have a gluten allergy. Never, and I mean never, say that it's quiet or slow, all right? It is the surest way to get a full house for the rest of the day. Is that... Is that like actual magic? If it is, it's no spell of mine. Where's JC? We're gonna need to restock everything. They have the day off to study for finals. Unless you want to add their chaotic stress to this mess. No thanks, I choose life. I can help whoever's next. Can I come in real quick? Uh, yeah, sure. Did we have a date or something that I forgot? No, I've been giving you the space to stress and study, but I figured you should have this before you completely destroy your mental health. <sighs> Nicole, I said no good luck charms. I have to tackle my finals on my own merit. It is not a good luck charm. It is an anti-anxiety charm. Basically the magical version of Xanax, but not as strong, and it lasts for much longer. No... Reality bendy luck magic in this? None. Its only function is to reduce anxiety. We're actually looking into creating a more powerful version of that to help those who struggle with chronic or social anxiety, rather than the regular stuff you and everyone else goes through. Huh. That's... I still feel the urgency of finals, but... Like, it's, it's not crushing. Hmm. Thanks. Consider it an early Christmas present. Ugh, yeah, you're going out of town, aren't you? You can come with. My dad's side of the family would love to meet you. Yeah, debatable. But while I would love to get away from a Minnesota winter to chill in Louisiana for a week, I can't afford to take that much time off from work. I thought Bob paid you well. Oh, she does. And because of that, I was able to catch up on some overdue bills, actually go to the dentist, get a physical exam, buy a pair of winter boots that'll last more than a single season. Um, next year, when I actually have a cushion. Okay. Did you want a break from studying? They're this week. Did you want me to sketch while you work and then we snuggle? That. I like that. I'll go put on your favorite lo-fi playlist. right there for you. Happy holidays. Seriously, dude, what else do I have to do here? And here you go. Thanks. Alright. Happy Hanukkah. During the holiday crunch? Yeah, and that's not the worst. That's different. Exactly. That is my job as significant other. Hey, babe. I can make her face it. No. I swear if he fucks up my wrist. Are you kidding me? No. No. She's playing nice. Bullshit. That doesn't matter. Huh? Is that another Buddhist thing? This is something I gotta do myself. What? And what did Stacy do? There are excellent benefits from my employer. I got you a present. And, you know, just the season. A mandala? Technically, no. Oh, wait. Happy Hanukkah. Anyway, it's not for that. Right through, before you go. Here. Thank you, Bob. Probably not, no. Causing some tension. Can't have it all, I assume. It only gets worse from here, I call. Excuse me. Could not help it over here. True. However, what's going on? This was not a friendly relationship, I assume. They are not the one being rude here. Shall I make that four? Of course, we'll see you next week. A mandala is a geometric configuration of symbols. No stabbing! A wise decision. You and I both know that quite well. Perhaps she can recognize you? You can stay until doors lock. I agree. People do change, often for the better. And your religion is not the center of the universe. No crimes or stabbing.
Got some holiday jitters. Did you steal that from my back pocket? Part time? Oh, you look stressed. Theme for what? Okay, there is definitely some tea in that story. Jesus, after one semester? Well, alright, I tried. Yeah, get your own murder weapon. But we'll ask for that later. Does that mean you're subbing or something? I thought Cyrus was gonna have a stroke. It came out before I was born, so you finding spell? Uh, what school is this? Like in that old movie, The Craft? Tension? They threw out an entire tray of brownies because there were a couple of air bubbles. My principal's an idiot and lets all sorts of BS slide. Oh no, what a nightmare. Never mind. Oh, the rich people school. And can I transfer? Yeah, in terms of movies, it kind of is. Before you would let me know it came out. Normally, when people are told they've done something wrong, they apologize. Did you need JC? No, I am not qualified to teach math, no matter how much they may want to avoid them. The craft is not that old. She caught me off guard. Redemption is possible. It is, yes. I think JC might scare her off. It's disappointing. Learn to stand up for yourself. You got worse. And I'm a witch. And it's like, oh, those good It's a men's flannel jacket. Very comfortable. Studious. It is not... <sighs> well, emotional and psychological damage is still damage. Not the point. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I think that, at best, already did. Well, I can do some divination if you want, but awful. She was a bully. Sorry. Classism is a real problem. I guess we're not having a movie night for a while. Oh god, it is old. 